following on from our um, PHP and array uh, little tutorial on how to make a graph using those um, technologies, we are going to now refine our code. Our code is going to look like this. And I'm going to explain it. Um, basically, we are importing the main general part of this is we're importing our data, our weather data from two different CSV files and then we're displaying in the same way but we're using a smarter code here. And this array up here is just the months that we use down here as well. So first let's explain what a CSV is and what it looks like. A CSV file is basically a text file. If I double click, it will look like this. A text file that has comma separated values. There's a comma, there's a comma. If we open this file in Excel, which you can, it actually looks like this. It just looks like separated by cells. But when we go to save, we save this as a comma separated values or CSV file. And then it can be used and imported into other applications and in our case into PHP. So you, the first step you'll need to do is locate or create your own CSV file with this data in it, which is simply this data from our, our last um, little tutorial here, which is this data. So you could simply copy and open up Excel and paste that data in and separate them by the values and by the cells and then save it as a CSV. Um, and then or you could, which is going to be a much easier way, go new file and create a new CSV file. CSV. So this would be the weather data for your um, for your particular city. Then you would double click. It's going to have some code in here because by default it has HTML code. So you just delete all that and then you paste in your CSV data. Save. And done. So now we go back to our, H, our PHP file. In your case, it will be your index. So if you were here. If we open up Jared's index, we can, have, we can see here that he's used the arrays, which you were supposed to last, last tutorial, and then he's displayed them here. Now this, this shows exactly the same as what we're aiming for, which is this thing, um, but it's not very efficient. But it's a good way of how to understand how arrays work. So we're going to go back to where we're aiming for and replace all of this chunk of code here with this, basically, from there to there, or to there, if we include Sydney. It's a lot cleaner. Um, it uses CSV files, so we can easily change the data. We don't have to come in here and manually change the data in our PHP file and save it again. We can just upload or change the external CSV files. So let's get onto it. And I'll explain what's happening here. In the first part of the PHP, I'm setting a month array. You know how arrays work by now. If I want to reference January, that equals 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 11. So that's what we're doing down here in the loop. We're using that in our loop to display 12. So from 0 to 12, or 0 to 11, which is 12, that'll loop 12 times. We're displaying this basically, this chunk of code or this HTML, if I was to write it in HTML it would look like that. Well, let's put it up here so it's the right color. I basically want to repeat this 12 times. I want a whatever the value is, 25.5 and that will come out here also, 25.5. If I was just writing it in HTML manually that's what I would be writing. So we're using PHP to echo this line of code and insert the variables from the array 
and also insert the variables from the month array into this line 12 times for January, February, March, April, May, June and those variables are in our Melbourne if we look here, Melbourne CSV so they are 25.9, 25.8, blah 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 they're all the same from our arrays that we set up manually so this loop starts at zero we go uh, the first value from our Melbourne array which is set here we get the way we we set this Melbourne array is we get the um, contents from the CSV file so it loads this file and loads this data and puts it into this Melbourne so it's almost the same as setting this this array like here except we're getting everything from that I've highlighted here from an external CSV file and we're putting it into the Melbourne array variable so we're saying file open up the CSV make sure that the names are correct when you're doing it then uh, don't worry about the rest of that that attributes and stuff just just understand that that opens the file then we're saying get the contents from that file and put it into the Melbourne array variable the same goes for Sydney so now that we know what's going on up here we can visualize this this is basically what it is so then we can go down here and say zero because the first loop will be that first value from the CSV then we go to the month zero position in the month array is January and then we're just repeating the Melbourne weather again just to displayed in the bar here so 25.9 so Jan dash 25.9 January dash 25.9 and the width or the style for this bar if I inspect element will be 25.9 that's how it knows how wide to go in terms of the screen it's 25.9 percent of the screen width so then we loop around again x becomes 2 no x becomes 1 so we're just plusing 1 to x every time we loop around so x will be 1 the value of 1 or the position of 1 in the Melbourne array will be this next value 25.8 and the position of 1 in the month will be February because remember it goes starts from 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 etc and so on until we get to 11 then 11 plus 1 is 12 is 12 less than 12 does 12 equal less than 12 no it's not so then it exits the loop and goes down to Sydney and that's how this code works